Reborn as a vending machine, now I wonder the dungeon is an animated series based on a light novel by Kumar Hira and published by Kado Kawa. This series revolves around the main character who is obsessed with vending machines to the point that he's willing to sacrifice himself in order to save one. Having sacrificed himself in the name of vending machines, the main character is either rewarded or punished by being reincarnated into a magical world as a vending machine. Despite his love of vending machines, this could be still be considered a punishment because being an unmoving, armless vending machine in a world of monsters is just a recipe of the slow death. I mean, he has a force field, but that just makes it an even slower death. Fortunately, he is saved by a venture by the name of Lanus. Lanus is gifted with monstrous strength, but she's also starving after being separated from her party. Somehow she figures out that this vending machine could feed her and she gives him money for some hot corn soup. Namis is very trusting trying all the food and drink from this thing that could very easily be a mimic, but fortunately for her he isn't. This is also fortunate for the main character because he discovers that he can heal and upgrade himself with the money he earns. The vending machine not only helps Loomis with his force field and food slash water, but also acts as a counterweight which helps Loomis control her monstrous strength in battle. Loomis carries the vending machine home with her using her monstrous strength and acts as a sale girl for his products, quickly gaining many customers and allowing him to upgrade more which allows for more customers and for him to grow stronger. The two quickly form a deep bond of friendship with each other, even though they can't communicate much with each other. And Lamas gives the main character a name, Boxer. They soon head out on an adventure together to meet an expert in magical items to discover what Boxer really is. On the way, they make more customers and become stronger. They also meet a colorful range of friends and defeat enemies in interesting ways on their journey. The art style, acting and music are all really good, which makes the series really relaxing to watch, despite how silly the premise of the series is. The series that this series most resembles is Campfire Cooking in Another World with my absurd skill, with how the other world food will get you anywhere in another world.